Okay guys, let's talk about today Humvee insulation. Um, I'm going to take a couple of uh, shots with a thermometer here, the, the laser uh, infrared thermometer. And uh, just to do kind of a comparison to see if it's doing its job or not. So I've got here, um, let's check this. This is just an eighth inch thick steel, which is what this uh, back and top is made out of. Um, and I'm gonna get a shot of this and see if you can see it. So it shows one, about 112 to 114, okay. So then I've got an aluminum piece over here shoot it so you got 133 132 okay so the aluminum is a little hotter it'll dissipate quicker once it's probably shaded um, so then we got let's shoot to the back wall and see where we're at so here we are 170.5 okay so let's see if I can hold this still 168 so you see where we're at there so now we go come inside and shoot the back wall here exactly on the opposite side so there we are 141 Let's see if you guys can see that 142.5 okay so that's quite a bit difference uh you know about 30 degrees makes a huge difference um, and the reason why is the panels that are sitting out here that aren't insulated is cooler than this back walls because the insulation is doing its job by trapping that heat so the heat is dissipating through the material right the steel so if you have a truck with aluminum top or rear curtain it's going to be hotter inside in direct sunlight so today is about 93 degrees uh, and it's very sunny. There's really no wind. So um, today's a good day to do some test work on this kind of stuff. So, and this stuff works, basically this is what it looks like. Um, it's half inch Armaflex and it's more like kind of a rubber. Uh, it's a foam, but it's more kind of rubbery. I don't remember what they call it, but then uh, it's pretty dense. So, but it's lightweight. Um, now, I only use their approved adhesive because I know there's a lot of adhesives that will just melt rubber or any kind of insulation. So, um, I use this adhesive. It's designed for uh, Armaflex and they use it to glue the Armaflex together. But I use it, uh, what I do is you have to, I brush both sides this side and the side that it's going to be applied to with the adhesive and then and then stick it and once you stick it it's it's done it's a done deal it's not coming off so it's a real uh kind of pain in the butt to do it it's one of the parts of these trucks that i don't really care for too much because it's you know doing the headliner and stuff with this stuff is kind of a um you can waste it real quick if you mess up so and this stuff comes in you know uh, about three three by five foot sheets and it's not cheap you know like i believe it's about 35 dollars a sheet uh in my area so uh, now they do sell some similar stuff on amazon that i think is a little bit less expensive but it has like a foil backing on it and that means um and then it's it's got uh, a peel uh, where you release the back paper and it's already got a sticky back now. I can't speak for that stuff because um, I haven't used it so but people use it sometimes in vans and so forth in their builds But I just don't know about wanting to put it on a headliner uh, Using it for the roof especially on a truck like a Humvee that gets so hot I would rather just use the approved adhesive and then I don't think I would like um a kind of a an aluminum look to the inside of my Humvee. I kind of like it this flat black uh, color. So, anyways, I just want to make this video to show you there is a difference now on the Humvee when you got that airflow going uh, when you got the windows down. It helps a lot. 
uh, to circulate that air and get rid of the heat. So um, I can't say anything uh, negative about trying to insulate your Humvee with Armaflex. So if you can do it, um, now I've been doing some testing on the ambulance. I wanted to, I was curious today to see what it was at. So now the side of this is all aluminum and then it's got about an inch of foam and then the inside is lined with uh, Kevlar. So let's see what it's, I already did this once, but let's see what it's sitting at just to kind of give you guys an idea. So we're sitting at uh, 157 and on the other side, one, you can read that, it looks like 108.5. So that is really impressive um, for a box like that. So um, just wanted to make this video for you guys, especially since summer's coming up. Uh, you can maybe get some of this stuff and, and uh, you know, start applying it, man. Start insulating your Humvee. A lot of these don't have air conditioning, and the ones that do, they typically don't work. And I've been told that the ones that do work, they don't really work that great. Uh, the guys at the auction, they always have their AC running when they're running around the auction site or a yard there, and they said they're not worth a darn. So, anyways, but uh, maybe other people have had better luck. If you maybe replace everything, you know, freshen up everything, it might work better. So, but I hope this video is useful for you and uh, any questions just let me know if you need other videos on the same subject keep me posted take care bye